What's up guys, Nux Free 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 here. Today, returning to talk about the subject of Sonic. Yay. So it's been quite a while since I've talked about discussion topics with Sonic the Hedgehog, especially since it's one of the most popular and most well-known things for on this channel. And since it is, it's time that I return to that topic. Now, as you know, there's not many topics to really talk about with Sonic lately. We've been in a really dry period we don't really have much information on the next Sonic game, and we haven't had that many Sonic games that I've already had that I've already said stuff on that I have any more to say on. So I guess what we're going to talk about is a quick discussion that I've decided that I've wanted to touch for a long time. So the story talks about Sonic Adventure 3. Now, Sonic Adventure 3 is the biggest discussion of Sonic ever. It's not even a game that exists. Sonic Adventure 3 is a game that a lot of Sonic fans have wanted for a long time. It's controversial only because, for some reason, people just really get worked up over this game. It's not like Half-Life 3 or Super Mario Galaxy 3 where a lot of people want it and no one really has any problems with it coming out. It's literally a game where some people really, really just want it and other people just don't and there's constant feuding about it. Which, in the first place, is probably why this is such a weird topic to talk about. Because of the controversy and all that stuff. But since, you know, it's so controversial, I've touched it a lot only because I have used to be someone who really wanted Sonic Adventure 3. But ever since all this controversy has, you know, existed for the longest, I've kind of stayed out of the path of that. But today, I want to talk about it in detail because I feel like too many people aren't. And I'm tired of too many people getting thrown under the bus just because no one logical wants to throw their two cents in onto this topic. I did see a nice discussion by Stefan Nux and Cabronamani456 about it, but other than that, really nothing noteworthy in my book. But anyway, let's dive into the topic itself. So, among the many supporters of Sonic Adventure 3, one of the biggest supporters of Sonic Adventure 3 is the Sonic Adventure Free fan page on Facebook. Now, that community has been around for quite the longest and has supported and wanted Sonic Adventure Free. Well, my brief history with me in that community is that originally I didn't even know about the community. I was just a Sonic fan who was just getting started on the internet. I was hype over anything Sonic. I didn't, you know, get involved in the flame wars and the arguments and all that stuff. I was in it for the fun. And I slowly learned more and more and got intrigued in the different parts of the community. Now, I think it was around Sonic Lost World where I had actually noticed the Sonic Adventure Free community and some people had met me and took me into that community and so that's the reason why I know so much about it. I really got interested and I liked it because of the, it was at a point where I kind of had my gripes with the current direction of Sonic where I didn't like where Sonic was going. I kind of liked a lot of their ideas where they talked about Sonic Adventure 3 and talked about how they can improve from Sonic 06 and improving the Sonic Adventure formula. So that's the reason why I like the community and why I personally joined them. I wasn't really someone who ran the page. I don't get that confused. I am not an admin of the Sonic Adventure 3 fan page. But I was a video maker for the Sonic Adventure 3 YouTube, which was True Sonic Spirit. And it was basically a YouTube talking about the ideas that the Facebook would talk about, except in better detail and with a different crew. It wasn't exactly run by the same team as the Facebook. It was almost like two different teams in a way. But that's basically the background with me and Sonic Adventure 3. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the reasons why I joined the Sonic Adventure Free community is that I like the things that they said. I like how they critiqued the current issues I had with Sega and the issues they had. And I kind of liked that because I felt like there were certain things that, you know, people, a lot of people actually didn't really like with Sonic. And we wanted to express it in our way. And that was kind of the reason why I got behind that little thing. But now let's talk about where this issue begins. It begins with the fact that people never really liked the page to begin with. For starters, people didn't like the fact that we had this gripe, this um, opposition to the current direction of Sonic. That alone got us haters and people who didn't like us. See, 
Sonic fans take opinions in the Sonic community very seriously. So the fact that we disagreed with how Sonic was doing, like, oh, well, we didn't really like colors, we didn't like generations, for example, we would say something like that, for example, and that alone would be enough to get people mad at us, which is, again, you know, something that I had noticed in the beginning. People didn't really like certain things that we said. And I kind of avoided stuff like that. But I realized that this issue became a lot more apparent when more and, pe more and people had a very bad rep with the page. It was started with little things like certain people who didn't really like SA3. But it really started to, you know, really get into my head when people who, including friends of mine, didn't really like certain things that the page were doing. And that interests me. And then what really interests me was when big Sonic the Hedgehog YouTubers had complaints and always tried to, you know, kind of have this tension and opposition to the page. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, and, and it's not, and I'm not making this crap up either. This is stuff that I see on a daily basis. I was in a conversation about this the other day on Twitter. You can go, I can, I have plenty of proof of that. I mean, it's not like I'm pulling this stuff out of my, you know, you, you get the point. But back to the subject, basically, People didn't like us. That's that's there's that's basically what to put it. And I was kind of wrapped up in the middle of that. I was like, okay, well, so many people don't really like the Sonic Adventure Free fan page, and I, it made me wonder why. Why don't people like the Sonic Adventure Free fan page? And it wasn't just the Sonic Adventure Free fan page either. People didn't like anything that we did, even when we expanded to the True Sonic Spirit channel, the YouTube of Sonic Adventure Free. People didn't like that for no reason either. And I thought that we were doing very logical explanations and that we didn't really do anything wrong. So it made me confused on why people didn't really like us and why there was this issue between Sonic Adventure 3 against the world that people blew up out of proportion. And this isn't something that I'm not, again, this isn't something I'm making up. This is something that I'm seeing from my perspective. A lot of people don't really like the page. It is kind of, it kind of does feel like that you know, people are against the world in some sort of way. I'm not saying that it is, because that would be ridiculous. No one is out to get Sonic Adventure fans, because there are a lot of people who agree with Sonic Adventure fans, and a lot of people who do want Sonic Adventure free, who still like, you know, the current direction of Sonic. But it just made me very curious, you know, I had to get to the bottom of this. Why is this a debate? What is going on? And so, I've made up a little bullet points and a little explanations as to kind of why there's this non-existent tension between Sonic Adventure 3, the fan page, against the rest of the community, and why it doesn't exist, and why all of this is ridiculous. The first thing I want to make out is this whole essay free against the world mentality is completely dumb. Now, again, there are um, a lot of the community uh, doesn't like us because a lot of the community is for the current direction of Sonic. That is kind of true. But again, it's not like people really hate us legitimately, minus a minority of people. And these are the people that I call the unjustified haters. Now, the reason why I label them in this category is they have no argument. They really just don't like us for any other reason other than they don't want Sonic Adventure free. They don't like some people who are in the community or just something random like that. They get angry that we oppose something about Sonic, that we say something negative. And this is not even just in the Sonic community. You'll see things like this in the Nintendo community sometimes, where if you say anything bad about Nintendo, you're, you're not a Nintendo fan. You know, you're this bad person. Suddenly, you're the most evil person in the world and all that stuff. That logic has been around for the longest. And I like to call that fanboy logic. And I just hate fanboy logic completely. A lot of times, a lot of people who really did dislike us, who were unjustified, fit into that category perfectly. And the reason why I find it dumb that people claim that we're bad for that is, well, yeah, we complain about certain things to Sega that we don't like, but don't act like you don't have your own complaints to Sega that you don't like. The Sonic fan base, especially the Sonic fan base, is the king and queens of complaining in terms of the franchise's direction. You complain. I complain, we all complain, my friend. So to put yourself on a pedestal and act like you don't have any problems yourself is completely dumb. And those, I feel like, are the unjustified reasons that the page gets a lot of hate. 
Now, what I want to jump into now is the logical reasons why the page gets a lot of hate. Now, I feel like the most justifiable reasons why the essay free fan page gets a lot of hate is kind of some moments from the page that does make us as bad as the community puts us. For example, in the past, we make a lot of posts talking about certain things with Sonic, such as Aaron Weber in the Sonic Twitter. We don't like some of us, I mean, not me, and I, I'm going to stop using us for now. I'm just going to say they. The Sonic Adventure Free fan page, some of them don't like the direction that Aaron Weber and how he runs the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter. Some people say, oh, well, it's too jokey and meme -y. It's so cheesy and annoying. You know, we don't like this direction. And I guess some people take that personally because they feel like they're personally throwing attacks at Aaron Weber, which is justifiable. I mean, it's it's kind of wrong to just, you know, bash the guy just for doing his job. And I can understand why they would have complaints about that. Um, but at the same time, when people do voice it in a logical reason, then it's unjustifiable. You know, it's just an opinion. But there are times where we kind of do the SA Free fan page does push that border. An example where we wouldn't push that border is, again, if we voiced a nice, reasonable opinion about it, we used our facts and arguments, and that was it. If it was simply that, then you couldn't touch that argument. But the one thing that kills an argument all the time is when you throw insults. Now, some admins of the Sonic Adventure Free fan page tend to be a lot more aggressive with how they voice their concerns. They use more harsher language, more wordy phrases, and for example, in the latest post, they would do a parody post such as this. Now, while the page would claim that something like this is simply an April Fool's joke, personally, I see it as a direct attack. This is the wrong way to talk about doing things. See, the reason why I found this post and a few other posts so wrong is because all it does is it sounds too aggressive. It sounds too fanboyish, which is exactly what I got into the unjustified haters for. I hate fanboy logic. Nothing annoys me more than logic to where I have this personal attachment to something, so I should be right. No, that's not how things work. You have to have facts logic and reasoning in terms of why you have an argument for something and that's the reason why i didn't like posts like that because it just felt like oh we were just angry because we want things our way we don't care what other people think and i think logic like that is kind of wrong in a way and all it really does is gives people who do legit do hate us more ammunition now what i mean by examples like that is people who have always hate us the unjustified haters they, they get more ammo for us, and now they get their arguments stronger because we goofed up, and we made that mistake. Now, I didn't make that mistake because, again, I'm not an admin of Sonic Adventure 3. The most control I have is I did some stuff for the True Sonic Spirit channel. Other than that, I have no control. So when I see stuff like that happen, it bothers me because I kind of had a reputation for being under the Sonic Adventure 3 name, too. And this gets into a point where the reason why I don't like kind of this controversy with the Sonic Adventure Free fan page. The reason why I don't like it is because when it comes to Sonic Adventure Free and whenever people insult the page, it kind of annoys me in this way. I have kind of worked and did a lot of work for that page for the longest time and a lot of their opinions I still do agree with despite the things that they do wrong that I don't agree with. And when people throw the really deep insults such as everyone from that page is trash, everyone from that page is cancer, these people are not even human beings, you know who how that I feel about that? I feel like I'm getting those comments too. That's what people don't tend to realize. And the reason why I'm making this video is I'm one of the few people who kind of represent, quote unquote, represent the SA free fan page side of things because I am one of the few people from that page who can make videos because the true Sonic Spirit team from Sonic Adventure Free is not, again, not the people from the page. It's a few people who have the ability to make videos. And so because I have that video making power, I wanted to make a video talking about this subject to tell you people that this kind of stuff is annoying and it pisses me off. Um, why do you have to throw your hater ammunition towards people who have no involvement with what the page does? 
Stuff like that is unjustifiable and wrong. And I'm going to call you out if you say BS like that. For example, and this is not people who are unjustifiable, but stuff that's kind of bothered me in the past. Again, a lot of Sonic YouTubers and big names in the Sonic community have called out the page before. The Sonic Twitter itself has made a few jokes and nabs at it before. Big YouTubers such as probably one of the biggest YouTubers, Kabanarmani456, once quoted that the page needs to shut up. Last question, and that's, should it happen? Do you want it to happen? Like, is SA3 something you want to see happen? Will, will, will you be excited if it gets announced? Will you be first to pre-order it as soon as it goes up? That's all I want to know. Like, should it happen? Well, I really want the Sonic Adventure 3 Facebook fan base to shut up. So, yes, I would love to see it. <laughs> I would absolutely... Oh. Which, again, stuff like that kind of hurts because I looked up to YouTubers like that. And now it feels like they're giving me this crap because I support a page that has made dumb mistakes. And so that's the reason why I don't like this Sonic Adventure free controversy in a nutshell. So now, let's get to my conclusion. The conclusion of all this is, why does it even matter? And that's a question that I'm going to address to both sides of the argument, whether you like the Sonic Adventure Free page or not. To the supporters and followers of the Sonic Adventure Free page, why does this even matter to you? For starters, why should you care about what these people think of you? As long as you get your message across, at the end of the day, you're still going to have your credibility. You're still going to have your arguments and facts, which will be perfectly standing still. You don't need to throw insults. You don't need to draw parody pictures of people you consider your enemies. All you have to do is stand by the arguments that you've already made, and you need to just stand by them. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. And now let me redirect my question to the people who don't like the SAP free page. Why does this matter to you? Why do I constantly see people circle jerk the argument constantly on Twitter all the time? If the SA free page makes you that angry, it doesn't hurt to leave a comment telling them what they did wrong and why the page has done so many wrong things. It wouldn't hurt to do one discussion on that. But when you constantly insult not only the page, but people who've worked with the page who haven't really done anything wrong, that's annoying, and again, that's a category I fit under, and it's the reason why I get pissed off when I see this stuff. And that's overall what I want to leave off with, is why does this matter to you, and why does it matter for Sonic in general? Well, that's pretty much the end of that video. Um, if you have any opinions on it, which I know a lot of people are going to, please leave a comment in the comment section below talking about this, not about the SA Free page specifically, but about this whole Sonic, Sonic Adventure free controversy in general. What are your thoughts on it? And why does this really matter? And what, what's the big deal with all this? I gave my opinion, which is that for people who are unjustified and just don't like the page for no reason, take your unjustified hate somewhere else. If you don't like Sonic Adventure free, if you don't like the things we say, you can easily just go to a positivity page somewhere else and listen to that. Just, you don't have to pay attention to us. It's not that big of a deal. And for people who do have justified hate, you are more than justified in commenting on the wrongs of that page. And for the Sonic Adventure Free page and community in general, you don't have to resort to insults and dumb decisions just to get your point across. All right, well, that's all I have to say on this extremely dumb matter. It's, at the end of the day, I find it to be something extremely dumb to be controversial over, considering it's talking about a blue hedgehog who runs fast. But again, stuff like this probably only happens because, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have been on a really dry period with Sonic and have nothing else to talk about. Minus that, that's just what I have to say in that argument, and hopefully people can understand where I'm coming from. Although I know a lot of people won't, simply because I took the side of the page out a lot of times. So I'm probably going to get a lot of butthurt comments. But at the end of the day, I hope they do come because I'm going to pretty much enjoy them. Alright, well, that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. Be sure to leave a like if you really liked what I said on this matter. Feel free to leave a dislike if you didn't like. I'm fine with dislikes. That's fine. I mean, you get you left your view, you left your comment. If that's what it comes to, if I get the hate then that's good too because I still get feedback. I love feedback and I love discussion. Minus that, that's it. This is Nux333. Now, peace guys.